Hello there and welcome to my review on Cody. It is a OS for the Raspberry Pi. That's what I'm using it as. But it also comes on Android. I think it, they make it for the Apple TV. All versions of the Raspberry Pi currently. Maybe not the Raspberry Pi A. And I think they make it for PCs. Yeah. I think I know it's made for Windows. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's made for anything else. So I think it's a disk image file that you download, put it on, burn it to your micro SD, put it in your Raspberry Pi. Then either connect a wireless antenna to your Raspberry Pi or use a what is that? Ethernet. <laughs> so I'm going to be using Ethernet because that's what's connected to this big TV here. And, well, that's what's behind the TV, and why not use Ethernet when you can? And yes, I do realize that not everyone has Ethernet everywhere, including myself. So, you got to plug in your Ethernet. Then you got to close this here. Using. And you're gonna plug it into there, this HDMI and whatever Raspberry Pi you're using. This is the Raspberry Pi 2 in case you're wondering. It's powering on. There. And then, one of my favorite parts about OSMC or Kodi is you can use your phone as a remote. So, here, let's disconnect. I'll show you how to remove that. No, it wasn't actually connected in the first place. So, ooh, there's some nice coil line. You hear that? Okay. So, here is. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna sit down. So I can hold this a little more stable. So it says no media center configured. You can either press this plus or add media center. I'm gonna press the plus. Then, if you're on the same network that your Raspberry Pi or whatever is on, you click next. Or that searches. That says found. You click that. Then it says connecting. Then finish. Then it's connected. So now. Here. So now, this isn't actually how it starts out. We can switch it to how it will start out, and I can show you how to do that. This is the Cody wallpaper, or theme right now, skin. We'll go to the default OSMC. So here's this. Oh, this is how it looks. I don't like it as much. You got your weather. It's, it's apparently snowing. No, no, it's cloudy, apparently. So then what you do, go to settings, appearance, and skin. Then you change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it on this because it's so much easier to navigate and find certain settings. I'm going to put the GoPro on the tripod so I don't have to hold it, and yeah, I'll be back once that's done. Okay, so you'll see GoPro is uh, recording the TV because I have no form of doing that otherwise. So, <clears throat> yeah, I cleared my throat there. So, you might be wondering, how do I overclock OSMC? Let's turn it up. Not making noises. But you might be wondering, how do I overclock OSMC? So what you do is go to programs. This is the same on any thing I've tried. That one I downloaded. It's cool. I'll show you next. But you go to my OSMC in the programs thing. Then you go over to this one. Click overclock. Select OK. Then you can do a custom, but I have it on turbo. 
go over hit apply down there and you're good then you can do update settings services overclock app store i'm not sure what that is let's see yeah, ssh stuff uh networks remotes pi config you know, all that good stuff actually i think you can overclock more in the pi config let's go back pi config maybe yeah. Never mind. I didn't even change anything. So then, we're here. Weather is right here. Let's see. Apparently, that's the picture for Breezy. Then, I'll show you pictures. I don't have any pictures set up. Because I can't get it to read this. Let's, I'll try. <laughs> Will it work? Come on, eh? Come on, you got it. Nice coil one. <laughs> okay, we'll just leave that plugged in. See if it'll start working. I think. There's nothing wrong with OSMC. I think this might just be the device that I'm using because I tried it on my Raspberry Pi 1 and it worked just fine. So when you got videos, you can get video add-ons. Let's see. Nothing is showing up there. You can get video add-ons. I have NASA and Travel Channel. But we'll do NASA because I like NASA and they're cool. So you got live streams, videos, videos aren't as cool. So who, who is it? I think it's Goddard that does James Webb. What? I already have. There's also YouTube. It's not the best. But it's okay. So this is not that helpful for you guys. Right now. So I'm gonna do English, because I speak English. And then we're in America. Ah, no. There. Now, might work. That's kind of cool that they're using multiple things add-ons, you know. Let's see. James Webb anywhere? Here we go. Exceeded. Okay. Uh, that might also just be something from my Raspberry Pi. They're always updating OSMC, so, you know. So they got NASA TV. So then it'll stay in the background, you just have to press the stop button. ISS live stream. Come on. You got this? Who's a good Raspberry Pi? Okay. Apparently it doesn't always like it. Education, media, earth viewing. This is cool. So this is actually live from the space station. You'll see that it actually looks amazing in this one. What you can also do click HD. It's high def. It's a different camera, apparently. <laughs> NAS is awesome. <laughs> Look how cool it looks.
That doesn't sound right. I hear something boiling. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, stop that. No the NASA TV. Sometimes they'll stream like launches. If it's a NASA launch, they're usually always gonna have it and then here. You'll see there are a hell of a lot of channels. Like Food Network. South Park Channel. What is it? It's a Smithsonian. South Park. And Kenny getting murdered all the time. Kenny. Uh, Ted Talk. Wall Street Journal. Crowd Channel. Twitch TV. Guys are assholes. Young Turks suck. Mocking Alex Jones. Hitler lovers. You know what? They're worse than Hitler. I think there's an InfoWars channel too. I also hate NPR, they're, they're Nazis, bloody taking up the bottom 20% of the bloody FM, they're just asses, they should, and they're using tax dollars, <laughs> oh yeah, InfoWars right there, what the fuck, InfoWars, InfoWars, I don't know what I'm saying, Infowars. Let's try it. Let's see if it's actually live. I think they're normally live, right? It's these ones that says live. Truth says Trump is my president, which we put out in 41, predicting it, putting our name, our guts in the line, but something exposing who the other team was pushing so that people don't forget and so that the push for justice. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. This is Cody, and it's awesome. Thanks for watching.